I'm Karen Randall from Randall's Farm and Greenhouse. Hydrangeas are among the most beloved plants in the garden. They're a big, bold show of color in the landscape. Hydrangeas are an old-fashioned staple of grandmother's garden, but with more than 500 different varieties, what's old is new again. Hydrangeas are not only beautiful, but easy to grow. They require moist, well-drained soil, minimal fertilizer, and very occasional pruning. They like shade to part sun, but many new varieties thrive in the full sun. There's a hydrangea for every landscape purpose, and they're a wonderful late season bloomer. Hydrangea color is affected by soil pH. Alkaline soil brightens pinks and reds, and acidic soil deepens shades of blue. You can increase acidity by adding soil acidifiers like aluminum sulfate, or add lime to sweeten the soil, increasing alkalinity. A frequently asked question is, why aren't my hydrangeas blooming? There are three possibilities. Not enough sun, improper pruning, and winter or frost damage to flower beds. This year, the warm winter pushed the buds early, followed by freezing temperatures, killing many flower buds on hydrangeas. Each variety of hydrangea has a special care requirement, so keep your plant tags and labels for reference. Some of our favorite varieties are Big Leaf Let's Dance series with big blooms and large leaves for colorful fall foliage. Limelight, with cone-shaped lime green blossoms, turn pink in the fall. And the ever-popular endless summer varieties in pink, white, blue, and lace caps have continuous blooms from spring through fall. Hydrangea blossoms make beautiful, fresh, and dry flowers. To keep them looking fresh, cut the stems at a 45-degree angle or smash them with a hammer, increasing the surface area to help them draw up more water. Add floral preservative and you're all set. Old or new, hydrangeas with their magnificent blooms are a must in any garden. I'm Karen Randall from Randall's Farm and Greenhouse.